This is the AeroPress Go, an even more portable way to take fresh coffee with you no matter where your adventure takes you. Let's check it out. Hey guys, it's Ben from Stanley's here today with the AeroPress Go portable coffee maker. If you thought the original was a great way to make coffee no matter where your adventure or travels take you, this is an even more portable and compact way of doing it. Same style of coffee, same method of making it, it's just a more compact unit. This is how it comes when you buy it. Inside the box, you get the coffee maker itself, which comes in a little cup here. I'll show you what's inside there shortly. You get an instruction manual, how to make coffee, and you also get a pack of 350 paper filters. Now, these will probably last you about a year. You can actually reuse the same filter over and over and over again. I think I've used some eight, 10 times over and over. They can just be rinsed off and reused. Now, the unit itself weighs about 320 grams, measures about 13 centimeters in height and about nine centimeters across this way and across this way. So it's nice and compact and everything is inside there, except for the coffee. And there is a little paper filter holder in there, so you can put a few in there for your trip. So inside this unit here, if you take this off, this is sort of a rubbery silicon sort of lid on top of there. And inside there, you get this little, um, little sort of flat disc here. This is actually um, so, uh, used for the, the paper filter, so you can stack I don't know how many, probably eight, 10 filters inside there. And that stores just inside the unit there, fits just on top. Furthermore, if we tip this up, we've got the cup here, which you can put a lid on, I suppose, if you wanted to um, keep the, the drink cold while, while it's uh, sitting inside there. And then you get the unit itself here, the coffee maker. Inside the top here, a couple of accessories, little scoop for the coffee. And this is a little folding stirrer that you can use to get down inside the unit once you've got the coffee in there to stir it around to agitate the coffee. And then this is the actual coffee maker itself. So you've got the little um, filter bit on the bottom there. The filter sits inside there up against the bottom and then this comes apart in two pieces. Now the main difference you'll notice between this one and the, um, the original AeroPress is the numbers on the side go up to three here whereas the original goes up to four so it's a taller unit so you don't make as much coffee in here. Not so much of an issue if you're only setting um, making a, a shot of coffee down to number one but if you like to fill your cup right up as I do you won't get quite as much coffee in there with this small unit but the benefits are it's nice and compact. Now this is all made in in the USA and it's made from all BPA free materials. This is all BPA free plastic, all of these components here. And there's a couple of silicon components. The lid here is sort of a flexi silicon and also this plunger, which is replaceable. You can remove that and buy replacements. Um, is also made of a silicon. Provided you actually store the AeroPress Go completely pushed right in so that the actual plunger comes out past the edge here. This plunger is stored uncompressed uh, and will also always um, have a nice tight seal around the edge here. If you store it halfway up there, it's stored compressed and you don't get quite the same compression. Now, making a coffee. The first thing we need to do is grab a little um, strainer that goes on the bottom here. Now, I'm not going to open this pack of filters. I've got one in my little coffee bag here. The filter goes in there like that. Now, AeroPress say you can wet that first if you like. Not necessary. I don't do it. Um, it's the same effect either way. We then twist that on the bottom there, that just locks into place so we can now see that we've got our filter on the bottom there. We put that on top there. Now, there's a few different ways that we can actually brew uh, coffee in this. There is the traditional way, this is how AeroPress say to do it, with the, the bottom plunger like this, you put the coffee in that way. There is an inverted method in which you leave that off and you put this upside down like this, you put your coffee in there and you fill it up and let it brew for a while. The benefits of that is the water doesn't start dripping at the bottom straight away and you get a stronger coffee. The downside of it and why AeroPress don't recommend it is that it's top heavy because this section is full of water, the bottom isn't, so it can become top heavy. So if you do decide to do it that way, make sure you put it somewhere where kids aren't gonna knock it over or it's not gonna fall over, you're gonna lose your hot brew. Today, I'm gonna do it the AeroPress recommended way which is the coffee in the bottom here. On top of the mug, it's sturdier. This mug's sturdy. That uh, sits sturdier on top of there, and then this one goes in the top there. Now, once again, we're gonna follow AeroPress's recommendations here today. They say one heaped sp uh, spoonful of coffee in the bottom there, fill the water to the number one, and then we press it down, and that makes a shot of coffee. There's a lot of different ways you can make coffee in this. I actually prefer in my original AeroPress, which is the one I own, I put quite a heap scoop in the bottom there and I fill it right up to the top and make a really strong, long black coffee. I like that for camping because I don't have to carry a lot of milk with me. It just, um, I can fill most of this cup up and then just put a little bit of milk in the top. If I'm doing a shot of coffee, I need to work out some way to warm uh, or stretch milk to fill it up the rest of the way, which isn't always convenient camping, but 
There are lots of different ways you can make coffee. So anyway, today we're going to follow the AeroPress recommended way. So I'm just going to scoop a heat scoop in there. Actually, I'll do a scoop in a little bit because I can't get a scoop out. And now we've got our coffee inside. Now this is quite a coarse grind coffee. You can probably use finer grind coffee. What you find is the finer the grind, the harder it is to press down the course of the grind, the easier the water runs through. Um, personal preference, once again, what sort of coffee you use inside, experiment, see what works best for you. Now give this a bit of a shake so the coffee levels out in the bottom there. And we're now going to add some water into the top. So I've got some hot water here. In terms of what water to use, um, as with most coffee, you wanna use it just off of boiling. AeroPress say about 175 degrees in their directions, but um, a bit hard to measure temperature exactly when you're camping. So I'd say boil it, let it sit for a few minutes and then pour it in. So I'm now gonna pour the coffee in so that it fills up to the number one on the side here. And the water's gonna start to drip through the bottom straight away, that's okay. Don't let it sit too long because we want to get in there and stir it fairly quickly afterwards. So I'll just pour this in up to the number one. I'll then grab our little stirrer here, give it a bit of a stir. Being careful not to tear the filter, paper filter on the bottom there. Give that a bit of a tap. We can see that that's now dripping through the bottom just slowly there. And we now grab the plunger put it in the top and we push down just gently. Don't force it. You don't want to feel pressure. If you do feel pressure, just back off a little bit and let the water go through nice and easily. So you can see, I can hear that now starting to hiss now because it's pushed the water through and I'm now just pushing air through. So if we just keep going all the way down to compress the coffee at the bottom and that's now our shot of coffee in the cup here so a bit hard to see in the dark cup there but that smells really nice and it's a nice dark shot of coffee so this is quite a big cup really that's filled filled this cup up to about here it's about 440 milliliters this cup here so we would need quite a bit of milk to make that into a like sort of a long um, or a flat white style of coffee but as I mentioned, if we filled the, the press up further, we'd actually have more black coffee in there, put a little bit of milk in, and you've got, um, I guess you could have like an American style espresso that's quite a sort of a long, or a long black, I suppose. Um, or I prefer to have mine when I'm camping, a long black with a splash of milk. Now the coffee that it makes is kind of a, it's kind of a cross between an espresso and, and a filter type coffee. It's, it's fairly smooth, doesn't have quite the bite of an espresso. It's not quite as oily. Um, but it kind of sits in between. And because you've got so many different ways you can make it, depending on how you want to brew it, inverted, how much water you use, the type of coffee you use, you can make all sorts of different flavors. But that is quite, quite a strong coffee given it didn't brew for that long. Um, and that would certainly taste pretty good um, with some milk in it. Now, in terms of cleanup, it's nice and easy. Um, we grab the, the, the plunger here, we just grab container here because I haven't got a sink in front of me. We take the bottom off of this, unscrew it. You can see that can now just get rinsed. We've got the paper filter on the bottom here. If we peel that off, we can rinse that off. Now, as I mentioned, they're quite tough. You can't, I, I've rinsed mine eight, 10, probably more times. Just give it a rinse under the tap and leave it to dry. You can reuse that over and over. We can then eject the coffee puck here into a compost bin or, or bin, whatever we like. We just push that all the way through. Coffee then falls out. There's our coffee puck in the bottom there. We can then, if we had a sink, we'd be able to just rinse the, the plunger off the bottom here. I haven't got a sink in front of me now, so I'm just gonna give it a wipe. And because this plunger sits so firmly within here, it sort of cleaned that chamber out. So that can just then be put back in the cup here. I'm just gonna tip the coffee out because I'm not gonna have another coffee this morning. I'll just give that a quick wipe out. Normally you would obviously clean this a little bit better. That can then go back in here. We put our stirrer and everything back in the top there. I'll give that stirrer a wipe off as well. That can tuck back in the top there. That then goes inside there. The filters on top there, cap over there, and that's our AeroPress packed away. We can put that back in our favorite coffee bag if we like. I've got, a, I've got a little coffee bag here. This is what I use when I'm camping. This actually fits really neatly inside here, upright. The old AeroPress used to sit sort of crossways in most of these bags. I've got my mug, my coffee, my AeroPress there. I can even fit the filters in if I like. Pack it all up and we're good to go. So that is the AeroPress Go coffee maker. An awesome camping 
coffee maker. I, I wouldn't go, I don't go camping without my original AeroPress. If I had my time again, I'd certainly get this one because it's more compact and fits in this nice neat little unit here. You can grab these online at snowies.com.au at our lowest prices every day. If you've got any questions, let us know down in the comments below. Subscribe to our channel. We'll send you all the latest information and check out some other videos like this one down here.